Um, in this example, ladies and gentlemen, what we have is we have the square root of x equals 8. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be solving radical expression. We're also going to be solving expressions that are raised to the rational root. All right. Now, in this example, we have the square root of ax equals to 8. Um, so the main important thing is we need to kind of understand and remember what are inverse operations and how we apply them. If you guys remember, we have x plus, um, let's just pretend we had x plus 8 equals 7. Or if I had like x squared equals um, 4, for instance. Okay. If you guys remember, what we have practiced using inverse operations up to this point is apply, uh, whatever was happening to the variable, we undid that. So here's just some side examples. If I had x plus 8 equals 7, then to solve for x, we subtracted 8 on both sides. Right? That was like at the beginning of class, we went over problems like that. Um, over here, if I had x squared, to undo the squaring function, we would square root on both sides. So therefore, I have x equals plus or minus 2. Okay. So what I want you guys to understand is what we're basically looking to do is undoing what's happening to our variable. Now, Jasmine, in this case, if you guys look at here, I have the square root of 8. So if, um, if to undo the squaring was to take the square root, to undo the square root, we would have to square. So basically what we're going to do is square both sides. By squaring both sides, basically what I'm going to do is now x equals 64. OK? So therefore, x equals 64. Now, the other important part about solving problems um, when we are squaring or when we're solving radical expressions is very important for us to always go back and check our answer. So if I plug 64 back in for x, the square root of 64 equals 8, which checks out. So therefore, this is the solution. Because there are going to be problems where we're not going to have a solution. So we're going to want to make sure we check both of them.